in this video i will show you a circuit example in which i will calculate the equivalent capacitance equivalent capacitance that means we have to reduce the total capacitors into a single capacitor and that will supply the same charging current in the circuit this is the first example after that i will show you a relatively difficult problem in the next example okay find the equivalent capacitance of the following circuit connected between a and b terminals see here across this a and b terminals we have several capacitors connected and we have to find the equivalent capacitance and that means we have to reduce these capacitors to a single capacitor whose capacitance will be c equivalent before going to the simplification let me talk about series and parallel capacitors when we have several capacitors connected in series we calculate the equivalent capacitance by taking the reciprocal of equivalent capacitance equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the individual capacitances when we have several capacitors connected in parallel we calculate the equivalent capacitance by simply taking the sum of the individual capacitances and there is a special case of the series capacitor when we have two capacitors c1 and c2 connected in series we calculate the equivalent capacitance c equivalent equal to c1 into c2 divided by c1 plus c2 okay now look at this terminal and this terminal with respect to these two terminals i have to calculate the equivalent capacitance okay to calculate the equivalent capacitance at first i have to simplify the circuit as much as possible see with respect to this terminal and this terminal you will see this 20 microfarad and this 20 microfarad will be connected in parallel so i can reduce these two capacitors into a single capacitor whose value will be let's say c equivalent as these two capacitors are connected in parallel therefore i will simply add them up to calculate the equivalent capacitance equivalent capacitance of the two capacitors that means i will replace the two capacitors with a single capacitor of value 40 microfarad okay here i have replaced the 220 microfarad capacitor with their equivalent capacitor of 40 microfarad okay now look at this terminal and this terminal here you will see this 15 microfarad and this 40 microfarad will be connected in series so i can reduce them to a single capacitor whose value will be equal to let's say c equivalent to the value of c equivalent to will be the multiplication of 40 microfarad into 15 microfarad divided by 40 plus 15 microfarad as we have only two capacitors connected in series so we will use c1 into c2 divided by c1 plus c2 method to calculate our equivalent capacitance okay so here it will give us a value of 9.23 micro farad so with respect to this terminal and this terminal i will replace these two capacitors with a single capacitor of 9.23 microfarad see i have replaced the capacitor of 40 microfarad and 15 microfarad with its equivalent capacitance of 9.23 microfarad now with respect to this terminal and this terminal this 10 microfarad and this 9.23 microfarad will be connected in parallel so let's say i will replace them with their equivalent capacitance c e q 3 their equivalent capacitance will be 10 microfarad plus 9.23 microfarad which will be equal to 19.23 micro farad okay so i will replace this 9.23 microfarad and this 10 microfarad with a single capacitor of 19.23 microfarad 
okay now look between the terminal a and b there you will see if i simplify the circuit i will get this 19.23 microfarad and this 5 microfarad these two capacitors are connected in series therefore i can calculate our cap equivalent capacitance c equivalent by taking the product of these two 5 microfarad into 19.23 microfarad divided by 5 microfarad plus 19.23 microfarad which will be equal to 3.93 microfarad that means the equivalent capacitance of the given circuit will be 3.93 microfarad this indicates that we can replace all the five capacitors with a single capacitor whose value will be 3.93 microfarad okay that's it thank you